Hello, my name is Maya Petrova. I'm a medical consultant at Neurosoft Company, and today we will register event-related uh, potential PIP 300. It helps us to evaluate in objective way uh, the cognitive state of uh, patients um, of different ages, including adults and children. Your patient uh, must be cooperative because uh, the doctor needs to instruct um, he how to perform uh, during um, this diagnostic. We will use a uh, neuron spectrum for EPM device. Also, we need um, uh, headphones to deliver different types of panels and the patient button, uh, which uh, will use the patient and push the button hearing uh, the right stimuli. In uh, P300 paradigm, we will use uh, two types of stimuli. One type is uh, um, standard and frequent stimuli, and the second type is rare and target type of stimuli. And the patient must hear all of them and push the button, then he will hear the target stand. Firstly, we need to prepare the skin on the head properly. Uh, in the first step, we use the spiritus napkin to degrease the skin. After that, they use the abrasive paste and drop the skin gently till the uh, redness, slightly redness, and after that they use cup electrodes filled in with the uh, adhesive paste and put them on the electrode position site. We have prepared the skin and positioned our electrodes. Uh, we have used the two channels montage scheme, as you can see the active electrodes are put it in the C3 and C4 sites according to the international 1020 system. Uh, the reference electrodes are on the mastoids and the ground electrode is on the forehead. We have connected the electrodes to our neuron spectrum device. Active electrodes connected uh, to the minus uh, position of the channels, uh, the reference electrode in the plus positions, and here is the ground electrode. Our cables are twisted to each other to minimize the notch noise. We have instructed our patient to push the button, then he will hear the target stimuli. In our case, it's more uh, high tone. Uh, the patient can push any button on this device. We are in the main window of the, this program and we will create a new exam. We need to enter the patient's data. you need, you can enter and after that press it too. Now uh, we need to uh, look for our test, the cognitive EP300. We need to choose the two channels, montage scheme, and we are going to the window of this test. Let's check the impedance. We see that the impedance is uh, good enough and it will be ideal that uh, the impedance will be uh, in the border of 5 kilo ohms. Okay. Also, we can check the impedance pressing the button on the device. Uh, we uh, must instruct the patient 
to uh, push the button on the meaningful cylinder. Press this button and the, our patient uh, will hear the sound. And don't push the button, and then the patient will hear non-meaningful cylinder. This one, okay? So we instruct the patient. Now uh, we can see uh, the template for this test that our stimuli will be um, 85 dB for both stimulus and uh, the frequency of meaningful and non-meaningful stimulus, uh, the filters that we use, the channels that we use. Also, you can uh, change uh, these parameters. For example, you can add some channels or use only one channel if you want. Uh, and after that, uh, you can uh, start the stimulation. You see curves, or two curves for one channel, and two curves for the second channel. We see these curves for meaningful stimuli, and these curves are for non-meaningful stimuli. We see uh, true and false clicks on the patient button. Uh, this information is count from the patient button. Here you see that uh, uh, the device has delivered 35 stimuli now out of 100. We see here that the cognitive complex, including N2 and P300, is uh, situated here. And these curves on the non meaningful family uh, haven't got this complex, N2, P300. Okay, we have finished our acquisition. And now we can see the curves for uh, meaningful families from right and from the left side. Uh, and these curves are for non-meaningful family. You see here that only sensory part of our neurophysiological response. We see here and here we see the sensory part here and the cognitive complex including M2 and P3 we can put the markers and we see the latencies here also uh, as uh, we have used patient button we see the time of reaction here and we can see the details here the mean response time is 265 milliseconds uh, you see that the 100 percent are true clicks that our patient will correct will, uh, was correct and here you see the hypercram of uh, response time uh, due to the quantity of our clicks now we can save. Also, we can make a pivot pushing here. Uh, you see in the report that the name of our patient, the age, the exam date, uh, the curves uh, as we uh, was put them on our screen the same way and uh, the details about the latency now we can print here something uh, print and uh, put at the doctor's site thank you